Okay, here are a couple of troubleshooting items. First, if you go to run your program, either through the play function on your screen or by downloading it and running your robot, if your sensor is skipped, meaning it moves forward, it turns, but then it skips both of these blocks and it does something else. That is a good indication that your sensor is not plugged into the right port. Okay, maybe somebody has moved it. Maybe it's not plugged in. Doesn't matter. Something is wrong with your sensor. If you put in here that you want your robot to turn 90 degrees and you have this set to two, let's say this is one rotation. Okay, this may not go 90 degrees. You may have to change this number to get it to go 90 degrees. Another option, let's say that I put this two degrees because in my way of thinking, I want my robot to turn 90 degrees. So I have it set at 90 degrees. I set this at zero because this says it's turning, right? And so then I set this at 90 degrees because I want my robot to turn 90 degrees. Please note, this will not get my robot to turn 90 degrees. What this is saying is my wheel will turn 90 degrees, not my robot. Troubleshooting item number three. I got to make a change here on my robot. So that I can show you what I'm talking about. Let's say I push play and nothing happens. It just sits there. Or maybe my wheels turn 16th of an inch, you know, not very much, but I see a little bit of movement. That is a good indication that my motors are not plugged into the right ports. Okay, so there's some power going to them, but because I do not have both of my motors plugged in properly, remember it's supposed to be in B and C, right now they're in B and D. Then just take your wire, Sorry, I've got to change, move my screen, move my phone. Once I connect it back to where it should be, my robot should move. 